points. Clark gets by the defender and lays it in. Kasababu, no match for him. What a nice move on the baseline. Millen all the way. Easy deuce. College, he's a sophomore. And he came in averaging more than 11 points per game. That's good for second on the team. Nelson knocked down, and he drops it in. Bats drives. Bats gets the roll. He's going to the line. That's the Julius Bat, Julian Bats that we've grown accustomed to seeing. Blackbird's a bit slow in the half court. Clark cutting. Agosto driving. Agosto adjusts. And another end one. Right now leads all scorers with four. Flips to the corner, and Millen knocks down the three. He was wide open. They, he got lost early in that defensive set. What a pass. Coleman off the feed from Hernandez. Excellent pass, and Coleman got loose behind the defense. They didn't see him. And Numbers have been down, but his scoring starting to pick back up. Hernandez. Drops it off, Clark, tough angle, and he splits the double team. Another assist for Joel. Cruz working on Hernandez, the runner, he got it with a little baby hook. And that was reminiscent of the Magic Johnson one that gives me nightmares <laughs> still uh, 30 years later. The action picking up again in the final two and a half. Swing pass for Segura, nice bounce pass. Mathnani off the window. And dribble. Iral Penn got to the rebound. Hernandez on the drop off from Bats. Hernandez waits and puts it in. Joel with nine. That he's got to wait. It's a one on three. Scanning and analyzing. Bats with a long triple. Nothing but net. So confident and so sure handed. Flavors unloads and we're tied again. Stags have been able to get it across the timeline. Flavors again and he's heating up. Waiting, waiting, here it comes. Bounce pass, got the look, and Hernandez with the flush. Segura, what a bounce pass, and he's right there, Casababu. Aim for Fairfield. He led them with 10 in the opening 20 minutes. Clark, knives to the baseline, Clark gets the roll. He Nelson with the runner, Nelson kisses it home. And, and, uh, and traveling, I mean, that is insane to think. Backdoor pass, Segura off a nifty feed from Casababu on D. Not a good pass, juggled by Clark. He's gonna go one-on-one. -on -one. Gets by Segura and lays it in. And two stags come tumbling to the ground. A great job at the line, 11 out of 15 so far in this one. Just Kept him in this game, it really has. Yep. There's Coleman, goes up and puts it in. That's nifty move. Hernandez right in front of his bench. Hernandez with his second three. He's up to 16. Good spiral on the release. Breakdown underneath, Nelson all alone. Second time that's yep. happened today. Nelson's had a lot more room in this second half. Forced the three, gets the roll. That's a scorer's three pointer. First triple for Nelson, and he's up to 11. Favors. Long pass from Bats, got it to Clark. Clark puts it in. Nelson drives, Nelson rejected. I got shielded by the official, but Van Sowers and Clark were close. Hernandez, sometimes it's not pretty, but it works. Some bench production. Cruz fires away, that's a big three. Possible five on four. Methnani bypasses and beats two of them to the hoop. First it was Clark, Van Sowers tried closing in. Segura from the foul line, and Segura is feeling it today. Season high, 14 points. A hurry back, Fairfield, fast break, and a jam from Methanani. Coleman, no look for Clark. Raekwon, driving, Raekwon flips it in. That's not good right now for the Blackbirds. Hernandez, top of the key, pulls it and knocks it down. That's his shot. If you're gonna leave him four or five feet open right in the middle of the circle, he's gonna take that, gonna make it probably 90% of the time. Gets by Bats. Nelson rejected by Coleman. He's not going to, looking for the cut, it's not there. Nelson up top, 
Nelson takes it himself at the horn. He beats the buzzer. Final seconds tick off. Augusto makes it. Doesn't matter much. And that's how this one ends. Stag snap a three-game losing streak with a 76-72 win. They close out the seven-game road trip, two and five, and they get to within a game of 500 at four and five. LIU falls to four and seven. I'll chat with Derek Kellogg right after this. Sort of. I'm here with Derek Kellogg, and you get a look at the final numbers. You just said it right before we came on the air, the story, 10 missed free throws in the second half, surprising after 9 of 11 in the first. Yeah, absolutely. And 9 of 11, one of them was a 1-1 one one, uh, in the first half. So uh, I thought we executed uh, halfway decent our game plan, getting to the free throw line. We were in the double bonus with 9 or 10 minutes left. I told our guys, keep driving it to the rim, and I thought we attacked the rim, attacked the rim. Um, and we had a couple unfortunate bounces. Joel misses uh, that kind of wide open layup, 71-69, I think it was. And in these games, uh, with teams that are pretty much like us, you have to make every play if you're going to come out and win. Another uh, learning experience. And I'll tell you what, it's weird because we're in, I mean, every game has been uh, down to the wire. I thought we did some decent stuff to execute, but, um, you know, we had a couple of missed plays there, and really the free throws is what killed us. You talked about the emphasis on pace and tempo. Did you have a sense that that might not work today because Fairfield did a really good job stretching the floor with the transition defense? Yeah, I thought they did a better job. Um, I didn't really use as much of my bench in the second half to kind of get it really going because I thought the guys were playing pretty well. And, uh, you know, I was anticipating coming down the last two, three minutes um, with the game on the line, and we just we just missed a few plays. A couple, They executed the play. We just didn't kind of execute the, the finish. So. Um, some of it is execution. Some of it has got to get a few more guys uh, chipping in here. We didn't have as much from our bench tonight as we had the last couple of games, and I think that hurt us. Final question, Derek. It seemed like in the first quarter there was that slow start again for the first four or five minutes like we saw against Stony Brook. Uh, is that something that you can address that gives you time to go over some things because you got another couple of days here before the next one? I think the teams that are coming have uh, and can execute their game plan very well early when they're sharp. It's like watching a – you know, a professional football team early on until you can wear them down and try to get into them a little bit. And, um, you know, teams are coming in with a good game plan. And I thought, uh, especially in the second half there, um, it was really our defense, uh, a couple of miscues here and there, because um, offensively we were getting the ball uh, to a lot of good spots on the floor. Derek, I know it was a disappointing result, but as always, I appreciate how candid you are. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. That's Derek Kellogg after the Blackbirds lose 76-72 to the Fairfield Stags. First meeting between the two teams in 19 years, and the Stags improved to 9-5 all time against the Blackbirds. Eli, you will have time to talk things over and get things right one week until they're back here at the Barclays against St. Peter's.